and now to our low deserts, they could get pounded with up to eight inches of rain. We're talking about two years worth, in fact, in two days. Mike Rogers at the desk now with more on that. Mike? Yeah, Susie and uh, Juan, it's not unusual out there for Palm Springs to get rain, but it's really uh, a lot all at once for them, and it's during a time where it's not necessarily the way it always works. Now, I want to show you some video from out there. Uh, sandbag locations are completely full. I talked to a fire captain over at the Palm Springs Fire Department today. He tells me it's just been a caravan of people picking up the sand and the sandbags from their city hall and some other locations they've got out there. Now, their big concern is really how kind of flat the desert is out there. They tell me that the local mountain Mountains right next to them can really act as just a slide and shoots water right down into the city, even if it's not necessarily raining that hard in the city of Palm Springs. The amount of water that they get from the mountains is really tremendous. They also tell me that swift water rescues are a big thing out there. They have to do them pretty frequently, and they're different than they are here. Because everything is so flat out there, the land is really wide, which causes a little bit of a different challenge for drivers. Take a listen. It is wide, it is flat. And so it looks like it's really wide. So people think it's not that deep. It appears it's, oh, it's only three, four inches deep. What they don't understand is a whole road below that has already been washed out. So maybe three, four foot deep of water going through there. And they think they can make it through there. They said so they go around the barricades, even though they're shut down. And that's when we get called out. Yeah, that's when they get called out. They're going to work with their partners at Cal Fire Riverside County Fire. Uh, also, the patrols a lot of that area. Now, they also went on to say that captain there told me that just because you have a big truck, doesn't mean you're going to make it through the water and they really encourage you. We've said it, you know, over and over again, turn around, don't drown. Uh, don't drive through any standing or rushing water at all, even yeah. if you think you know how deep it is, guys. That's true, Mike. Thank you very much.